Hello, so welcome back to this tutorial series. So like I already explained in the introduction, we're going to be practicing with an app that will help us to understand how to build an Android application with Xamarin using Firebase, okay? So I'm going to pull up the app that we're going to be building. So this is what we're going to be having at the end of the day. So if you're yet to see the introductory video, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can watch the introductory video so that you know exactly what we are going to be building in this tutorial. So if you're new or this is your first time of dropping by on the channel, do well to subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you can always get notified when I make this kind of video. So guys, without spending much time, let's jump right into it. Okay, so this is the start page of Visual Studio 2017. So I'm going to go ahead and, cl and click on create new project. I'm very certain that almost everybody knows how to do this, right? So I'm going to select Android. So here we're going to name the project. I'm going to call it Xamarin Firebase. Okay, so this would be the name of our project. And ensure that you click this checkbox, create directory for solution. And afterwards, we're going to go ahead and click OK. So Visual Studio has some already made template for us, but we want to start from the scratch, okay? So we're gonna select blank app and select okay. So our project is being created, bam. So our project has been successfully created. So I also want to mention it that by default, Visual Studio 2017 comes with Android design library, Android support design library. So you might not need to install that from scratch again, but you can as well go ahead and update the support libraries okay so you can go ahead and make that update but also if you're using visual studio for mark you might not have this so you probably might need to install android support design library from scratch so the first thing we need to do will be to update our support design libraries to the latest versions so we're going to go to our nugget package manager so this is our support design library so you can see that there is a new update version 28 so we can just go ahead and click update so we're gonna get the latest version of android support design library okay that will take some time and also we will accept all the licenses boom so the update has successfully been installed so the next thing we need to do will be to load up our our layout our main layout so we're gonna go to our layout folder and click on activity main so this is the file for our main layout so we are going to load that up so while our design is loading up, we can go ahead and start creating some resources that we're going to be using in designing our app. Some of those resources include the colors and the stars, right? So we're gonna go to our values folder. I'm gonna drop it down. So I'm gonna go to colors.xml. So I'm gonna change these colors to the ones that we saw in the design of the app. So we want this shade of blue for our color primary and also we want this dark shade for our color primary dark so we're gonna go ahead and make those changes so here we're gonna change it to 0690c1 so here we're gonna have 06749b so this would do and for our ascent color we are going to change this to ee861f so this will do. So we're going to go ahead and hit Ctrl S to save this. So let's go back to our main layout. Okay. Boom. So our main layout is fully loaded. Mind you, we've already changed this color. As you can see, it's already resolved. This is the new team we just set. And we can go to our stars.xml to confirm that our team was well set. So you can see that here. So this is our stars.xml. But there is something we need to change here. We don't want an action bar, right? Because we are going to be using a toolbar. So we are going to change this to no action bar. Okay. So we're going to save this as well. So now let's go back to our main layout design. So what we need to do here is to proceed and design our app. And this is exactly what we want to have at the end of the day. So the first element we're going to add will be a toolbar. So I'm going to say Android. So we just added our toolbar. Of course, our toolbar needs some attributes. So, so we're gonna go ahead and add an ID. So we're gonna go ahead and add some other important attributes for the toolbar, like the height, width, 
um, background theme and elevation so guys let's just go ahead and do that So what this theme does is that it makes it possible that when we write anything on the action bar or the toolbar, it will show clearly, right? Or it will display in white. So when you use dark, it means that whatever thing you write on your action bar will display with a white color, right? It's more like the text color will be white. So let's go ahead and add some elevation. That's some shadow. This will be 4 dp. And that's it. So the next thing we need to do will be to add our text view and these two icons that we have here okay so this is a text view and this is an image and this is also an image so we're gonna go ahead and add those views inside of our toolbar but before then we need a relative layout to help us structure things okay so we're gonna say relative layout i'm gonna say the layout height this will be wrap content i'm gonna set the layout width this will be equal to match parent. So the next thing we need to define will be our test view. So our test view, we're gonna define some attributes for it. So we want to make our test view, you know, to be at the center, as we can see here. It's at the middle of the toolbar. Mind you that this is also contained in a relative layout. So we're gonna say, we're gonna set the height. This will be equal to wrap content and the width. Go to match parent and the next will be the gravity gravity will be center and we're going to add the test and the test will be alumni and we're going to add some style to the test we want it to be bold and the test color we want it to be white and the test size we want it to be a little bit large i'm going to use 18 sp I think 18 SP is large enough. So the next thing we need to do will be to add these two image views, the search and the add new image. So to do that, we're going to define an image view and we need to set some attributes. So we're going to first of all set the height, which will be equal to 40 dp, and the width will also be 40 dp. The ID will be equal to search. So the next thing would be to align it to the left. So we're gonna set this to true. Align parent left will be set to true. And the next thing we need to do will be to add the images, okay? So we need to bring in the drawable images that we're going to be using as our icon, okay? And I have those images saved on my desktop, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them in. So I'm gonna go to our resources and create a drawable folder. So I'm gonna add new folder. I'm gonna call it drawable. It's very sad that Visual Studio doesn't create the folder automatically, but we can always help ourselves, right? So we're gonna go ahead and add the new item. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and add an existing item. I already have this icon, so I'm gonna go ahead and add all of them. Boom, so they are successfully added. Now the next thing to do will be to reference them in our design. Android.sruc. This will be equal to our drawable slash IC search. Okay, so this is the icon we just added now. As you can see, it's already showing here. So the next thing we need to do will be to turn this black icon to white. So I'm gonna say android.tint. So I'm gonna set it to white. Boom. So the last thing we need to do here will be to add some margin to the left. So we're gonna say Android layout margin left. So we're gonna set this to 10 dp. So the next thing we need to do will be to add a new image view. So I can easily just copy this and paste it here. And I'm going to align this to the right. So this is more like a shorthand, all right? So we just copy and paste this. It makes it a lot faster. So we can change this to add button, add new button. Okay, so we're going to change the SROC to IC. Okay, let me go ahead and check what we named that. I see action add. I see action 
underscore add. So this is exactly what we want to have here. But since this icon is much more bigger than this one, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce this to 30 dp. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. So the next thing we need to do will be to add a new edit test that will serve as our search input. If you look at the complete project, you can see that when we click on this search icon, you know, it shows all this search input we have here. We'll click here again, it vanishes. So we need to add this edit test. So what we're going to do is to go ahead, outside our toolbar, we're going to go ahead and define a new edit test. So to ensure that everything is well organized, it's pretty organized because <laughs> I really care about that a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this. Now I'm going to define a new edit test. Of course, we need to set some attributes. First thing first, we're going to set the ID. So we're going to call this search test. So we're going to add some margins to the left and right. So we're going to actually make it very little. So we're going to set it to 5dp and to the right. We're going to set this to 5dp as well. And also we're going to add some margin to the bottom. And of course, we're going to set the height. We're going to set it to wrap content and the width. We're going to set it to match parent. And also we're going to set the hint. Okay, so it's currently not showing. We need to change this to a linear layout. Okay, so we're going to change this to a linear layout. We'll copy this and paste it here as well. So this becomes a linear layout. So we're going to go ahead and save. So we need to add an orientation for our linear layout so that all this will be able to show up. So I'm going to say Android the orientation. This will be equal to vertical. Boom. So our search input is now showing. Now the next thing we need to do will be to add our recycler view. So I'm going to add it under our search input test. So I'm going to say Android dot support. Okay, so the recycler view is already showing. So I'm going to select it. And of course, we need some attributes to this. The height will be match parent and the width will be match parent as well. And the width will be match parent as well. We're going to add some scroll bar to it. We just want a vertical scroll bar. And we're going to set the background. We want the background to a little bit close to white. All right, so we're going to set background to say hash E2, E2, E2. So this is very close to white. So finally, we're going to set the ID. So for ID, we're going to call it my recycler view. Okay, boom. So this is all we need to do for our design here. So boom, this is all we need to do for our design here. So the next thing we need to do will be to reference all these items we have here. We need to reference our search test, our search button, and our add button, okay? But before we go, we need to make our edit test to be hidden. So to do that, I'm going to say android.visibility. I'm going to set it to gone, okay? So we're going to set it to gone. Gone means that you don't want it to occupy any space in the view. You want it to be gone entirely. Well, if we remove this, you can see that it's showing. But I can go ahead and just say Android of visibility. If I set this to invisible, it will still occupy the space. But when we don't want it to occupy the space, we use gone. Okay. So we want the space to be entirely vanished. So we're going to save this up. So this is all we need to do for our main activity design. Now we're going to head over into our main activity and reference all these views that we just created. So we're going to go to our main activity. So this is our main activity. So here we need to define our add button, our search button, our search test, and our recycler view. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to say image view. I'm going to call this add button. Another one, image view. I'm going to call this search button. And our edit test, which is our search test. Okay, so for our recycler view, we need to pull in some support libraries. Okay, so we can just click under here so that we can get suggestions for, for fixing. So let's click on this place to resolve that. So now I can now say my recycler view. Boom. So we are done defining our elements. So now the next thing we need to do will be to reference them. So I'm going to say my recycler view will be equal to recycler view, find view by ID, resource dot ID dot my recycler view. So this will reference the new recycler view we just defined with the one we defined in our XML. I'm already 
I'm very sure that you guys know how to do this. So I'm gonna proceed. So the next will be our search button, which will be equal to image view, find view by ID, resource dot ID dot search button. Add button will be equal to image view, find view by ID, resource dot ID dot add button, add new button rather. So the next will be our search text, which will be equal to edit test, find view by ID, resource.id dot search test. So the next thing we need to do will be to add a click event handler for our search button, such that when we click on it, it will display our search test, okay? As we can see here. So this is the functionality we want to add for now. So we're going to say search button dot click plus echo to, echo to, and tab. So now we have a click event handler for our search button. So what we're gonna do here will be to say, if search test, the visibility is equal to android.views.viewstate.gone. So when it's gone, we're gonna make it visible. So we're gonna say search, test of visibility visibility equal to android of views the view state that visible then else so else evaluates the condition when it is visible so we're gonna say search test dot clear we're gonna clear it first so else when our search test is visible we actually want to make it to be hidden so the things we're gonna do we include to say search test dot clear focus so we want to remove focus from it first of all and we're gonna make it to be gone. We're gonna make it to be gone. So it won't occupy any space in the view anymore. So this is all we need to do for now. So guys, we've taken the first boot step in this tutorial, which is to create our project, do our main design, and also add some functionality for our search button. So we're gonna go ahead and run this project and see it in action. So the project is loading up, boom. So we're gonna test this out. So as you can see, our search input that showed up. So everything seems to be working appropriate. So this will be all for now. So see you guys in the next tutorial. So if you like this video and you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you can receive alerts whenever I make this kind of video. So guys, see you soon.